to use this book too much. No. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Oh, we've already talked to Jay. Talk to Jay. Oh, let me Ooh, get in. Our, the our guest speaker who hasn't called us yet. Oh, I have to call him. Oh, oh okay. Fine. Do you want to call him? Oh, oh here's your few minutes. Mark. <laughs> your heads up. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to give me the heads up. I don't know. Please. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Andrew Testo. How are you, buddy? I'm doing well, George. How are you, Big G? I'm doing well. And do you hear Eureka? Hi, Andrew. You're live on our podcast. Well, hello, Eureka. So nice to hear your voice. Oh, it's always <laughs> lovely to hear your voice, Andrew. One of my favorite people. You know that. You are my favorite person. Next to George, I will say that. <laughs> Get in line. So, Andrew, we have you on our podcast, and one of our go-to twos is the organization that you have structured. It is called LOVE. It's an acronym for Let Our Village Eat. Maybe you can touch on uh, what your team does and uh, what you've been doing over the past four weeks. Well, George, I, I know you're, you've been uh, a big part of that, and I do thank you, and I want to let your, your listening audience know what, um, you know, we couldn't have done it without you. But basically what we, uh, what we put together is during this uh, horrible crisis that everybody's going through, with, uh, you know, the, the COVID-19. And um, if I was a doctor or something of the, you know, medical profession, I would donate my time to go to a hospital or a clinic to help people during this uh, difficult time. And what I was able to figure out is I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a medical professional. No, you are not. I am is a, a pretty, yeah, a pretty good, you know, contrary to much belief, I'm not a doctor, but <laughs> I'm a pretty good cook and a pretty good chef. So the, the one true skill I have is I could feed people. And uh, being in the, the, the industry as long as I have and, and some other, uh, you know, friends of mine and colleagues we, we, we've got together, we've, we've uh, pulled together, and we've been utilizing kitchens that are, are being underutilized due to the fact that they either had to close uh, by, by law, you know, everybody's pretty familiar with what uh, restaurants are going through, so I've gone, I've reached out to a lot of my friends and that are in the industry that have commercial kitchens, and they've allowed me to go there with... Uh, a volunteer or two because we try to keep the, the amount of people uh, limited due to the, you know, we don't want to uh, have a, uh, you know, get anybody more sick or, or spread. So we, we've kept the social distancing to a, a you know, uh, to a, to the full extent. We've yep. been following the six foot, yep, wearing the face masks and the, uh, the PPEs. We got a picture of you on our slide cooking at uh, rum and tequila fusion, so yeah. people can get a sense yeah. of. Exactly, but what we so what we've done is we I started uh, you know I bought some food. We did one event for for people in need of uh, essential personnel, you know, first responders, uh, people as such, but mainly for the the community that it, at, at large that that could use a a good meal that don't have the wherewithal right now and are challenged uh, by this whole uh, crisis. So I thought we'd, we'd lessen the burden for them and, and do our best to, to feed them as often as we can. And, uh, you know, with a limited supply, obviously, you, you know, we, we try to feed at least 100 uh, meals per, per event. Now, those meals aren't just for one person. We, we do go pretty heavy on our portions, so we we try to uh, package them where they'll, they'll feed at least at least one, if not more. So, now, and, and you, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, why don't you tell us uh, who has uh, donated their facilities? Obviously, they've donated their some food besides the donations. We'll get to how they can donate to you in a second. But name the restaurants, name the people, and we have one coming up tomorrow. So, why don't you go through that? Excuse me. Let's also yeah, talk I, about yesterday too. That was that was fun. Talk about what you guys did yesterday, yeah. right? Tequila. And we appreciate we we uh, we were we were happy to see you, Eureka. Thank you for coming oh, out. And my pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, how far I spent. But well, I had that, that was that was beautiful. So all these the restaurant. I mean, we started off with the Brickyard in, in Fairfield, 
and most of this information is on our website at uh, www.letourvillageeat.com. And, um, you know, we, we started off at Village Pub in Fairfield on, on the Post Road. Um, we, did, we then went to Conti's uh, Restaurant in Milford on uh, 1573 Boston Post Road. Then uh, we did a, we did several days there, if you don't recall, right, uh, George? It was about four or five days there, I believe. Yep. And then uh, we, we broke it up a little bit. We did a community gathering outdoor, mind you, um, with social distancing uh, rules in effect. <laughs> of course. Yeah, we did a, an outdoor uh, pizza event for the neighborhood up by the uh, Great River. Uh, <laughs> Milford. They drove up in their yeah. car and we put the pizza in their back trunk and away they went. They prepaid by Venmo. It was awesome. Yeah, that, that was a, that was actually a really good event. We that were able fun. to raise yeah, we raised a pretty good amount of money there. I think the, the tally was about $890. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah well, that, was, that was good and that, that uh, kept us going still to this day. We were able to uh, you know, hold more events. Then we went, I believe it was the Castle on Post. Castle on Post was last weekend. Yeah, and we fed the uh, police firemen of Fairfield as well as the community. Yeah. Um, you know, citizens of the community. And um, we just had our last event yesterday. That was at Rum and Tequila, 211 State Street in Bridgeport, where the uh, wonderful... Uh, Owners will open their, their facility so that we would be able to feed the uh, first responders of, of Bridgeport. Carline uh, Carla Gary? Yes, yeah. Carline Gary. Yeah. Carla's, my, Carla's my new best friend. I loved her. She was great. She's I stopped awesome. in there for like a half hour, 45 minutes just to check you guys out. And it was, uh, I will say, George and Andrew, you were working hard. I was just there to sort of decorate, but <laughs> you guys were working hard. Give me yeah, credit. Yeah. We only did that when you were around, when you left. Okay. It off. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll but, check uh, in yeah, time. I, you know, and, and while we're, you're right, because we should mention, you know, Patrick Klein and Paula Klein from the cast on post and uh, Claudio Conti and his brother Sergio and, and, and Abe and Andy and Victoria. And Jen. And, Raul, they were owners. Yeah, and then Jen and, and Tom from the Brickyard. Uh, you know, great, you know, just great. Everybody is pulling together. You know, it took us a little time to get, get some, some traction, if you will, under, under our, our feet. But, uh, it seems like let our village eat is, is starting to, you know, find some legs here and, and people are, are really, uh, into it, you know, they're, and they're getting more and more involved, which is, which is great. I don't have to tell you, we're, we're trying to give a little more hope during such a grim time, you know, in, in, in our, in our world, not just our, local community now i believe yeah. uh, i don't believe i'm quite certain we have an event tomorrow which we'll be doing yep then that would be at the at motto uh, 389 bridgeport avenue in shelton um and and our, our friends there uh mike mcpadden and dan from Molto, mario and pierre a couple other owners um you know they, they've opened their facility to us matter of fact i'm in the car now driving back speakerphone by the way and um i just made some uh, dough for the bread tomorrow and dropped off a bunch of supplies tomorrow we'll be featuring penny ala vodka with uh, grilled chicken and uh, right. everything is made from scratch not the pasta and but, tomorrow uh, tomorrow is first responders sorry. and community yeah i'm sorry is tomorrow first responders and community up. Who is the event for tomorrow? Is it first responders and the community? No, tomorrow is is a community offering. Um, again, you don't. Let me just try to get this uh, clear to everybody out there. We're we're not looking for a donation. They are they are more than uh, you know. We're we're appreciative if people have something because by by donating a, whatever it is. Um, it allows us to do the next event and, and truth be told, we'll be able to do it without it. So, but the idea here is, is to just feed as many people as we can with the resources that we, we have. And, um, well, also Andrew, isn't it also to remember these restaurants that are participating and to 
hopefully provide patronage to them when this is all over, when we start going back out to eat and drink, we will remember these restaurants who did participate yeah, in this yeah. and, and go back and give them our business. And that's a great, that's a great point. And, and yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is, you know, to pay it forward. And, and obviously hopefully people won't, won't forget when this yeah. is, uh, when things loosen up and things get better and they will, I promise everybody that will happen. Well, if you, um, if you promise Andrew, then it will happen. So, <laughs> well, he is a doctor. He is a doctor. Well, yes. Well, I, I know. I personally look yeah, forward yeah. to some good dinners with you guys after all this is over. Well, well you know what? It, it, it's going to, something good has to come out of this. You know, I believe, you know, for every bad or negative thing, there's, there's something positive that's going to come from this. And I believe uh, it's going to happen in our, in our backyards, in our communities. People are going to come together more and more, you know, yeah. and, uh, try to help and and lend a helping hand to a neighbor or a friend or somebody that that they're a stranger that needs that needs them so i hope that's the, the 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 way to look at it the spin if you will or the silver lining and they can get a hold of you through your or make a donation through the yeah, website i'm sorry we can make a donation through your website there's a button if you scroll down a little bit it's www let our village eat dot com. You can make a donation there or get a hold of us here, Arika and I. We'll make sure the money will get to Andrew so he could cook more food for the community. Yeah, and, and you know what and another quick and I appreciate what you're doing and this is the way to get the word out there. It's it's mainly through the press. It's mainly through people like yourself with podcasts, word of mouth. Uh, but the, the you know the the local patch has been wonderful. Uh, the Shelton Herald, you know, all these reporters that that are, are reporting something positive uh, rather than something negative, which it seems to be the common uh, story when you turn on the news, you read a, a newspaper article or something online. It's it's all about negative people getting sick and people dying. No, you make a good point there, Andrew. That's true. You've got to have a little bit positive to get through this. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck in this for too long. Right, right. And, and that's, I think that's what we're all doing. And, George, I can't, I can't thank you enough. You've been there since the beginning. You've always been a great friend. Um, I, you, don't, you truly don't get enough credit for what you do. And, and I'm not saying that because I'm on your podcast. Well, I, I really appreciate mean, You know, I enjoy doing I it. You, George. You highlight my day. Uh, you, you me, <laughs> I think more people should be doing live interviews with you instead of sending an email and a text message. This is the best. Well, we, you know, we can save um, <laughs> our discussion on how how uh, excited you get every day about me. Oh, <laughs> we can save that for another uh, podcast. So yeah, <laughs> yeah well, okay. so I've known I've known I've known the both of you for way too long. Um, that's, exactly. that's, that's the first issue right there. And I know, I, I love that you guys are so in love with each other. I think it's very mature of you, an adult, to really talk about it live to the that, entire man. world. I think it's sweet. Yeah. I really do. And you know, the key word there is love. And, that's, yeah. and I came love. up with this, this yeah, the Let Our Village Eat. You know, I, I wanted to name it something, and, and it just, love kept coming into my head. And I said, well, I got to find some sort of name for this organization or foundation or, you know, charitable. Uh, thing, if you will, that combines love and it let, let our village eat came into my head. It was, it was, it was quite uh, almost divine, if you will. It was um, pretty spectacular. I'm quite proud of you, kid. Yeah, well, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, George and Andrew will be there tomorrow working again, and I'll pop in and help out too. So, um, but they work really oh, hard. Now you just made my day knowing that you'll be there. Of course. I like to bring humor and beauty to the situation. So someone's got to do it. All right, Andrew, we appreciate you calling in. Um, again, Thank it's let our village eat.com. Make a donation. Stop by tomorrow. You will have a bucket out. You can come by if you need a bite to eat. Uh, or say hi to on. us. Say hi to us. Whatever yeah. you want to do. No hugs, but you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the social distancing, definitely. Yeah, thank you again, and, and, and God bless, and everybody be safe, be well, and uh, and thank you for this opportunity. Really. Cheers, Andrew. Take thank care. you, Andrew Testo. 
So that's Andrew Testo, Arthur Ave Catering and Pizza. Good friend uh, of ours. Good guy. Great guy. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he, I would say, geez, we got to be close to or a little bit over 2,000 meals. Yeah. I, I, have, like I said, I'm, I'm really glad I went yesterday and uh, I wish I could stay longer, but you, you, I mean, really, you guys are working hard. And, and just to be clear how it works, I, I don't know if the picture was portrayed as accurately. I mean, you're packaging up the meals, then you have somebody else all gloved mask. You have three or four other people oh. helping to, to bag it, you know, put the nap, nap in the fork and then physically putting it out on the table for someone to grab and go or putting it outside. So there's very little interaction, but that's purposely done like that. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, you're, we can say, okay, the pasta's made. Andrew makes the rolls. Oh, like yeah. he went there and did the dough. Oh, he's he a phenomenal makes, cook. So makes, yeah. yeah, it's phenomenal. I mean, his vodka sauce is tremendous. Well, you and George, know, you have does, a lot of restaurant background too, so you're very capable and helpful there in that respect as well. So I'm helpful. You know, I'm a bartender uh, by trade, coming up in the restaurant business before management. Andrew is the chef. I just do what he tells me. I clean a lot of dishes when I'm with them and hand out a lot of food. And I'm, I'm just, front of the I'm front of the house pretty guy. Everyone knows it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Thank God for you. Really, no. It's helpful to have a house pretty man there. You know exactly. Well, what's my job? My job is to bring the looks and the funny. No, I thought I was 